The fallout from the Juventus game among Manchester United fans has been different to what happened after the 3-1 defeat to West Ham in the league, the defeat to Derby on penalties in the League Cup, the 3-0 against Spurs as well, and also the 3-2 against Brighton at the Amex Stadium. And Rio Ferdinand summed up exactly what that difference was in his post-match comments on BT Sport. Yeah, if you was having to describe this, this game in short and sharp, in a short and sharp way, you'd say men against boys, if I'm honest. I thought Juventus were far superior all throughout, um, in every department of the game, from their shape, uh, the way they applied themselves, the intensity, the quality on the ball, where there was a marked, a huge difference between the two sides in terms of quality on the ball, the, the calmness in possession, the understanding of the game, the game management, um, and they were well-deserved winners today. Tactically, much superior as well, would you say, Paul? Yeah, they, they looked a team who'd been playing together for, for some time and you know, they, they have brought some new players into it. But as Rio said, they were, they were a class above, um, technically, tactically. They were just a step above from, from Man United today. And you know, the sad thing is, it feels like there's a bit of an acceptance to it, really, from not just from United, from, from the players, but I think from the fans also. It, uh, I think it seemed where we're at at the minute, there doesn't seem to be an improvement um, in performance over the what is it into his into his third year now, um, and you see Juventus. They look like a team who could want to win the Champions League, and United. They're going to have to improve massively to get anywhere near. There really was an acceptance among Manchester United fans that that defeat to Juventus was almost inevitable. That before the game kicked off, you knew it was coming. I mean, you look at Manchester United squad. The only player that we can truly call world class in that team is David de Gea. On the other hand, you look at that Juventus squad, you see Ronaldo, you see Chiellini, you see Bonucci, you see Sandro, you see Dybala. World-class players littered out their entire team. Not that long ago, Juventus would have come to Old Trafford and been underdogs against Manchester United, but that's not the case anymore. I want to ask you, do you think that everything that has happened since Fergie retired and everything that is happening under Jose Mourinho, do you think that is now forcing Manchester United fans to accept mediocrity and defeat as the norm. Now what I want to do here is look at what Jose Mourinho had to say in his post-match interview after Manchester United's 1-0 defeat to Juventus because for me it tells a story. But I, I, I have to say that Juventus is, um, is a different level and if people doesn't want to, to accept that is their problem. I always try to be honest. They are a different level of, uh, of quality and stability and experience and know-how. Now here Mourinho is saying that Juventus are on a different level and that if fans don't want to accept it, it's their problem. He's completely and utterly wrong to say this. He's not wrong in saying that Juventus are on a different level because every United fan would, would accept that. We knew that going into the game and it's why the defeat and the reaction to the defeat has not been as toxic, anywhere near as toxic as it was for, say, Brighton or West Ham or other games where United were expecting to win. Going into this game, a draw would have been a good result up against a top draw, for me, favourites for the Champions League this year. But to say it's, it's not his problem and that fans have to accept this defeat and if they don't, it's their problem, no Mourinho. That is exactly your job to make sure that isn't a problem. Jose here pointing towards the fact that this Juventus team have more know-how, more experience, more quality, more stability than Manchester United. Look at Manchester United's team. We've got David De Gea, Paul Pogba, Anthony Martial, Juan Mata, Marcus Rashford, Romelu Lukaku, Nemanja Matic, Luke Shaw. That is a team which has a hell of a lot of quality in it. And don't let Jose Mourinho fool you into thinking this is a very bad squad. Because I genuinely think that this squad should be competing for the Premier League title. I think, it's, I think it's good enough to compete. And I don't want Jose Mourinho to make anybody believe that this squad is just complete trash and needs it doesn't need to be completely renewed. It needs some experienced and good faces in right positions, certainly, to get anywhere near Juventus's quality. But it shouldn't be as far behind as we saw against Juventus on that night. It really was men against boys. And then as for stability, this is Jose Mourinho's third year in charge of Manchester United. If stability doesn't come by this point, I'm not sure stability will ever come. 
And in terms of stability within the starting eleven itself, the fact that Jose Mourinho still doesn't know what his best team is means that stability, again, will never, ever be there. When you're chopping and changing your back four the whole time, it's very hard to build any sort of success on that. And that's what we're seeing at Manchester United. But again, that's not down to, I suppose, anything other than Jose Mourinho himself. As for experience, that's more down to Jose Mourinho's signings and the squad he has built than anything else. If he wanted more experience, he should have signed more experience. Now, of course, that's a nod towards what happened in the summer when the club backtracked its support of Mourinho and decided not to let him sign a new centre-back. And he made a further nod to that with his comments about Chiellini and Bonucci. And um, the base of the team, they have Bonucci and Chiellini. That's, that's the base that allows them to play with the freedom they play in attack, with uh, Cristiano, with Dybala, people creating, losing the ball, no problem, we are here. Lose the ball, no problem, we are here. Now, Chiellini and Bellucci, two of the best centre-backs in the world. They're Italian, it's what the Italian teams are built on. But Jose Mourinho signed Eric Bailly. Jose Mourinho signed Victor Lindelof. The answer to the problem is not always just signing new players. It's about coaching and getting better out of the current players that you already have. And if you saw, look how good Victor Lindelof was against Juventus. It was fantastic. So many one-on-ones that he won up, up alongside David De Gea. He was our best player. So the quality is there on occasions. And Jose Mourinho previously in his career, he rarely got centre-back signings wrong. You look at Ricardo Carvalho, the likes of those at Chelsea and at Real Madrid as well. He's always built his teams on wonderful centre-backs, quality centre-backs, and a lot of them he's brought into the clubs. But in Victor Lindelof and Eric Bailly, they're two 30-ish million signings, not small signings, that just haven't worked out so far. So the solution isn't always just signing new players. It's about getting more out of the squad that we've already got. And that, again, falls at the feet of Jose Mourinho. Juventus already had a world-class squad this summer, and they went and spent 100 million on a 33-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo because they want to win the Champions League. That's their ambition, to win the Champions League. That's the level that Juventus are at right now. You know, once upon a time, Manchester United signed Juan Sebastian Veron when we had Roy Keane, Paul Scholes, Nicky Butt, David Beckham, Ryan Giggs. We had a team littered with quality already, and then we went out and we signed Juan Sebastian Veron. At that time, it was about building success on success, continuing an upward trajectory, and that's what Juventus are trying this season after they signed Cristiano Ronaldo. But United, we're not doing that. We're chasing that pack. We are years behind Juventus, and it's reflective of the times right now at Manchester United. But I really want to know from you what you think about these comments from Jose Mourinho because I genuinely think that a time when Manchester United fans start to accept defeat as the norm, start to accept mediocrity as the norm, is a time where we truly lost our modern identity as Manchester United. We've built the last 20 years on dominating the Premier League. If there ever comes a time when losing a game, I expected that. That's the time where I feel we've truly lost our modern identity. And that is a massively worrying thing because everybody, or well, fans of other clubs anyway, when Fergie retired, they were hoping to see United go on a similar slip to what Liverpool did back in the 90s after dominating the 80s. And United fans have always said, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. But five years after Fergie, we're no closer to winning the Premier League Yes, we won the Europa League, but Liverpool won the Champions League. They still haven't won the Premier League, and that's what we always can laugh at Liverpool at. But five years since Fergie retired, we're seeing Jose Mourinho tell United fans that we should just accept that defeat to Juventus, accept our level, and if we don't, it's our problem. I want to know what you think about these comments, so let me know in the comments below.